Welcome to the One Choice for Your Store tutorial, Yahoo Product URLs, fast and easy. Product URLs provide Yahoo Shopping with the URL of your product, but it also helps to provide the URL of the product used for the Keep Shopping link in checkout. Now that we understand what the product URL does, let's go ahead and learn how to update that field. Go into your catalog manager and click on upload items. Now you want to go over to the far right side and click on download. This will give you a chance to download all of the items within your store. We're going to choose the default table to download. If you've got several different tables, you're going to have to do this entire process for each and every single one of the tables that you have. So go ahead and click on Save File and then click on OK. Now that we've downloaded this file, let's go ahead and click on Open. And here is our open file in Microsoft Excel. And the first thing we want to do is get rid of all of the columns that we don't need. There's actually only two columns here that we need to keep, ID and product URL. So what I'm doing right now is I'm highlighting all of the columns we don't need, then I'm right clicking and choosing delete. And right here we can see this is the one that has product URL, so I need to keep that column. and I'm going to go ahead and delete all of the columns that are behind product URL. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and expand the product URL column and the ID column so that way I can go ahead and see everything nice and easy. Now the next couple of steps might seem a little bit confusing but don't forget this is video. You can pause, rewind, and go back over it again. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine your URL with the ID and make a product URL. And this is how you do it. Put your cursor in the box underneath product URL and type out equal concatenate, which is C-O-N-C-A-T-E-N-A-T-E. -E. Put in the left parenthesis sign then put in the quote and put in the URL of your store. So in this case it's http colon double space or slash slash www.onechoiceforfrogs.com slash. All right, now in the quote put in a comma and now we're going to put in A2 because we want it to go to column A and line number two to pick up the ID. We're going to put in another comma and then in quotes we're going to put in dot HTML and close our parentheses. Now basically what this is doing is it's going to combine our URL with the ID and then put in dot HTML at the end. And as you can see it makes a complete and full product URL. Now you don't have to do this for every single ID in your Excel file. All you have to do is come up to that line that we just created, right click and copy, put your cursor in the line below it, and then highlight all the rows underneath. Now you're going to, again, make sure you've copied that formula, okay? Right click and put in paste. Okay, now as you can see, what it's done is it's taken the formula and it's applied it to all the other rows. So this works really well and it's made all these product URLs for us. But as you can see, when we go to each one of the lines, we see the different formulas and we can see that it picked up column A line, row 9, we can see it picked up column A row 6. Well we can't upload this file as is because the formula doesn't work. Highlight the entire column, then you want to right click and copy. This copies the entire column. Right click and then click on paste special and then choose values and then go ahead and click on the OK. Now when we click on those different boxes in the different rows, now you can see we have a full URL and we no longer have the formulas. 
this is a really fast and easy way of putting together a thousand URLs or even many more. But what you want to do now is go ahead and just take one of those, copy the URL, open up a new window or a new tab, paste that URL and make sure that it works. You may even want to do that with four or five different products just to be on the safe side. Make sure those product URLs work and they actually go to real products. Perfect. Now that we've got our file, now all we need to do is go to File, Save As, and let's go ahead and choose Desktop on the left hand side. And let's rename this file Product URLs and click on Save. After you click Save, you might get a little notice that it contains features that are not compatible. Just go ahead and click on Yes and that will save the file to your computer. So now what we need to do is upload this file back into our Yahoo store. To do that, we're going to go back to upload. And of course, we're going to go back to the table that we downloaded from, find the file, go to desktop, then locate the file called Product URLs and make sure that Choose Action says Add, not Rebuild and click on Upload. Now as you can see we can look at the records here and make sure that everything is okay. Um, for instance we're uploading eight records. We can go ahead and click on the Commit button or we can go ahead and take a look at the Next um, to make sure that everything looks good. Once we make sure everything looks exactly the way we want it click Commit and then click on Add. And what that's done is it's added all the different product URLs to all the items in our store. So now let's go into our store editor and let's take a look at our left hand navigation. Now if you've ever uploaded a database file to your Yahoo store you may have noticed that all of a sudden there's all these extra categories in your left navigation bar. Well don't worry, we can get rid of this. Frog Accessories is actually the last category that's supposed to be there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Frog Accessories, I'm going to click on Edit, and I'm going to grab the ID of this page and I'm going to click on Copy. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back to my home page and click on Edit, and now I'm going to hit Control F so I bring up my Find menu and I'm going to paste the ID of the section and that puts me exactly where I need to be in the contents area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all the IDs behind Frog Accessories and that way when I click Update my left navigation bar is exactly the way that it was supposed to be before the database upload. Now what I want to do is go to any product within my store and verify that the product URLs were uploaded correctly. So I'm just going to click on one of my products and I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to scroll all the way to the very bottom and look for that product URL and there we go. Everything looks exactly as it's supposed to be. Now to make sure that everything gets published correctly and everything is um, updated. Before I hit the publish button, I'm just going to go ahead and click on variables, let the page fully upload, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on update. And then I'll hit the publish button. That way every single page within the Yahoo store will completely publish. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit OneChoiceForYourStore.com for more awesome Yahoo Store tutorials.